August 9th will mark the one-year anniversary of a very dark day for a Michiana family. That's when their young, athletic wife and mother had a massive stroke that she miraculously survived, but was left with lasting disabilities. Julie McNamee of Mishawaka spent weeks in the hospital in outpatient rehab, and while she made huge strides, her improvement hit a wall. That's when she and her family decided to look into a treatment not yet approved by the FDA for stroke patients, but is showing promise. It's called hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Maureen met up with Julie and Mark to see whether this controversial treatment gave them the hope that they were looking for. We first introduced you to Julie and Mark McNamee of Mishawaka in May. After suffering a massive stroke on August 9th of 2010 at just 47 years old, Julie had come a long way in nine months, but still had some paralysis on her left side and needed the use of a wheelchair or cane and had seizures. You know, I had a very significant stroke and the whole entire side, left side of my body was paralyzed. So I did have some improvement before the dives started. Um, my eye was droopy and my mouth was drooling. In May, they traveled to Rockford, Illinois to the Rockford Hyperbaric Healing Center. We asked our sister station there to shoot Julie's treatment. While Julie is literally fed into an oxygen chamber, they call each session a dive. President Joe Sharp says they see varying improvements depending on the patient. Because we, we see anything from just subtle improvements in quality of life to just miraculous things. We've had people start talking that couldn't talk within three or four days of the treatment. So for some, most people, though, it's a very gradual process. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy involves breathing pure oxygen in a pressurized room and is most commonly used to treat infections and wounds that won't heal. But Sharp says more studies are underway involving its use for stroke patients. Once that oxygen gets in there, it talks, it turns back on those cells, makes them work efficiently, they start communicating with the body again. Since hyperbaric therapy is not being used for strokes in our area, the McNamees decided to pay for 40 dives every other day at a total cost of $7,000. And while that may sound like a lot of out-of-pocket, when hyperbaric is covered by insurance for approved use for treating wounds, hospitals often get $2,000 per dive. With 40 dives now over, I met with Julie and Mark again in their Mishawaka home. I, I think there definitely was some improvement. Uh, my walking is better. Was there some improvement you were looking for that didn't quite happen yet? Mm -hmm. My left arm is still paralyzed. Now, it does have quite a bit of tingling in it, which is how the movement in my leg started. With two daughters in college and two sons at St. Joe High, Julie and Mark say the hardest part of the treatment was having to leave town. Julie says the treatment itself was a breeze. It's definitely an easy treatment. It's jumping into a, or being pushed on a gurney into the tank. They close the door. It's like a submarine door, and it's watching TV or listening to music. And Julie, who has a special exercise bike for rehab, says she has more strength and had ridden her stationary wheels 25 miles the day before our interview. Mark says in addition to Julie's strength, they also believe hyperbaric therapy may have stopped his wife's seizures. You know, we talked about the fact she hasn't had a seizure since May 22nd, so um, overall a lot more stable. Julie was having them about every five weeks, mm -hmm. so it's been, um, you know, close to two months now. Not having the seizures, I think my whole family feels like they can breathe a little easier. Still, Mark admits Julie's recovery is like a journey, and hyperbaric is just part of their hope for a full recovery. You know, Julie is uh, on a path, you know, is, is the way I'd look at this. And the, the path doesn't necessarily have any guarantees for us, mm -hmm. but there's also no real end to the path after hyperbaric. I mean, there's other therapy we can look at. Um, we've talked about stem cell uh, procedures, which right now are not done in this country, but done um, in Germany and Japan. The McNamees are hopeful enough with the treatment that this week they're back in Rockford and Julie is going through 10 more dives. The healing process has started. Her last dive is on their 29th wedding anniversary. And beforehand, Julie, Mark, and the kids will celebrate. We're going to the Cubs game the day before. And the Cubs win! As Jeff no insult to Cubs fans, but I'm betting on a celebration for Julie this season. Maureen McFadden, News Center 16. 
And Julie is also betting her outcome will be better than a traditional Chicago Cubs season. Since it can take months for the full effects of hyperbaric therapy to show results, Maureen will check back in with the McNamees in a few months to see how Julie and the rest of the family are doing. And if you'd like more information on the Rockford Hyperbaric Healing Center, we have a link on the big red bar. And we should add that this treatment is still under study. There are varying opinions on how helpful it is.